Hola mi gente, ¿cómo están? Mi nombre es Alba Mar, me pueden decir Alba. El canal se llama Seriela, estamos aquí para hablar de libros, algunos de ellos en español, desde Puerto Rico. Hello, my name is Alba Mar. You may call me Alba. The channel name is Seriela. I'm here to talk about books and some of them in Spanish from Puerto Rico. This is a Friday Reads, uh, Good Friday, April 10th, and uh, this is going to be a short one, put on, on the timer, just to let you know uh, what I read coming out of a very, very bad slump. Uh, it was as if April came in, my reading mojo just disappeared, and I think it's a delayed reaction. I'm already way into my fourth week of uh, self-isolation and uh, I think I just the anxiety got too much for me and uh, I went into a reading slump and what helped me get out of it was instead of waiting f to finish my reading to be able to reward myself with K-drama no I started watching K-drama and uh, that's what I was missing uh, it transports me to South Korea and I escape and I frankly uh, could do worse than transport myself to South Korea uh, after how they have handled uh, the coronavirus situation. I expected no less from South Korea, frankly. Uh, they've been an example to the world. Uh, I've also been, frankly, anxious about my daughter, who lives in what Amy Goodman says every single morning on Democracy Now! is the epicenter of uh, the virus in the United States, New York City. And my daughter lives within a community that has a higher uh, percentage rate of, uh, of incidents and, and people who are positive with the virus uh, as compared to their percentage in the population. So I'll link a couple of uh, articles down below and uh, let you know what I've been reading. Uh, as far as Puerto Rico goes, I was watching Sean's video and Sean's uh, reports <laughs> out of uh, Japan always uh, always move me and uh, yeah my heart goes out to him and uh, all I can say is be thankful that you don't live in uh, Puerto Rico be thankful you don't live in a colony of the United States yeah that's that's all I'm gonna say I'm gonna leave it right there you want me spewing about the colony today so, what did I read? I finished a book, yay! But one from March, and that's Antonia. Antonia, tu nombre es una historia. It's about, uh, essentially, it's about the assassination of a young university student who was months away from her graduation as an education major uh, when she was shot and killed by a policeman, policeman who was, uh, p the police were, I don't know what they call it, uh, running through uh, the residential section of Rio Piedras after rioting, supposed rioting in the university. And uh, a group of policemen were uh, beating up on uh, a student who had been running and got his foot caught in uh, a gutter. And uh, from a balcony, a group of students were shouting, screaming, leave him alone, leave him alone. And a police officer just you know, aimed and shot. And she was killed. Now, what is so compelling about uh, that book, Antonia, tu nombre es una historia, by Iram Sanchez, who is an ex-judge, uh, is that he goes into a lot of historical context. And if you've been following me, you know that that is a sign, 
of a good job done. When you go into the historical context and you paint the whole picture, instead of just, you know, showing one side of, of the issue and one aspect of what's going on, he went, I have to stop soon, he went into the historical context, into uh, the history of conflicts in the University of Puerto Rico, which reflect the, you know, the outer conflicts. What caught my attention especially in that book is how polarized uh, the Puerto Rican society was already at that time, 1960, 1970 was when she died. But the polarization had been happening for a long time. And it's very well uh, brought out in that book. I highly recommend it to anybody who reads Spanish and is interested in the history of uh, Puerto Rico and why she is such an iconic figure. Can't stop without addressing the fact that that case is still a cold case. It has not been solved. And as happens with a lot of cases in which police officers are accused, yeah, there is total impunity. And that's what happens here. And he goes into the whys. It's scandalous, absolutely scandalous. Okay, so that's what I got done. I've been reading uh, oh, The Only Plane in the Sky, which is for uh, the Book Two Prize. I'm going to start today reading A Heartbeat of Wounded Knee, uh, which is another uh, book for the second round of the Book Two Prize nonfiction. And I am also, I have a list of possibilities here of all. Of course, I'm also going to continue reading Don Quixote. I'm going, you know, this this is not going to be done until next month, maybe. Uh, already into the second part. And uh, Cervantes keeps discovering <laughs> different uh, layers in Sancho Panza and Sancho and Don Quixote's relationship, which I find fascinating, just fascinating. Uh, for Good Friday, I uh, already told you I'd probably be reading from Oscar Romero's The Violence of Love, but I also have here some books by Annie Lamott. I could read some of those because uh, she has a very uh, wonderful sense of humor with her spir spirituality. And I have this other one also, Plan B, Further Thoughts on Faith. This one is called uh, Grace Eventually, Thoughts on Faith. Uh, I could also dig into possibilities here, Martin Luther King's Why We Can't Wait. I also have uh, A Month of Sundays, which I first saw, I think, on uh, Steve Donahue's channel by Eugene Peterson. Uh, 20, 31 Days of Wrestling with Matthew, Mark, Luke, Luke, and John. Sermons by Eugene H. Peterson. Definitely going to start this week Toni Morrison's Song of Solomon. Definitely going to start this and finish it, The Journey to the East a novel by Herman Hess for Read More German Books. Definitely going to start Terra Nullius uh, by Clara G. Coleman for Aussie April. Definitely going to finish Aftershocks of Disaster, Puerto Rico, Before and After the Storm by Jarimar Bonilla. And listening to Sean, I was inspired to see whether I can pick up Barbara Pym's Some Tame Gazelle because he's always spewing and gushing about Barbara Pym. Okay, so I think I'll leave it at that, people. 
please take care of yourselves and uh, let's keep our spirits up. Don't lose faith uh, and hope. Keep on reading. Cuídense mucho, mi gente. No perdamos la fe ni la esperanza. Sigamos leyendo. Adiós.